So there are a lot of like wrecks, like old ships, parts of old ships you can see. During the Swedish blockade of the port city of Gdansk. We are in Joe Garden. Pardon me if I'm pronouncing it wrongly. This is an island in central Stockholm and it's home to several historical buildings, monuments and museums. Today we are going to visit a special museum which is known as Museum of Wrecks. It's a museum with uh, history behind various shipwrecks, uh, story behind these wrecks and so many other things. So let's walk towards it and in short time we are going to go inside that museum. Welcome to the Museum of Rex. It's one of the youngest and newest latest museums in Sweden. Basically, the idea is to present what's called like mar uh, maritime history. If you now speak about the Baltic Sea region, the Baltic Sea, like Sweden and other countries like during 16th, 17th, 18th century. So there are a lot of like wrecks, like old ships, parts of old ships you can see. It's also very digitally an innovative museum where you can feel things, you can touch, you can see and so on. You can really kind of experience history with like special effects. So, it's, and it's as I said, as I mentioned, it's not only about Sweden, but it's also like the whole Baltic Sea region and like Northern Europe, you can say. Great to know, thank you. Let us learn few things about a special ship known as Resende Man, which was also known as Traveling Man. This was a Poland born Swedish ship which sank during the storm in the year 1960. Barely half of the people who boarded the ship managed to survive. One of the survivors, Andreas Budge, provided information about this wreck and it is popularly called Butch Story. What you see here is various parts of this wrecked ship. Resende Man had a cook room which would have been able to serve 50 soldiers and as many crew members. There were various loose wheels like this one scattered across the wreck site. This wheel is from gun carriage. This metal tube is from officer's toilet. During those times, only officers or important passengers were allowed to use the toilet in privacy. It was a privilege which was not for the people of lower status. This Swedish copper coin is one of the few objects that were found in 2012 from the shipwreck site. This coin was minted between 1649 to 1657 and this gives a hint that the wreck was indeed of Resende Man. The wreck had many cannonballs but no clarity on how many guns were there. Some say 12 and some say 22. Weren't realized. However, she did manage to arrange a marriage between her brother Charles and Christina. Charles and Christina had a son, Gustav Olof. When his father died, Gustav Olof became correct, king of Sweden. Gustav Olof continued to wage war against his cousin Sigismund, the Polish king. Gustav Adolf made his illegitimate half-brother Charles Lord High Admiral of the Swedish Navy. He sent him off with the Navy and the ships to block Polish ports. 
During the Swedish blockade of the port city of Gdansk, Admiral Charles reported to the king that many other ships had fallen ill. The Admiral asked for relief of some of the ships, officers and crew. He joined them and returned to Sweden. When autumn storms blew in, even more ships were ordered to sail home. The remaining six ships were to block Gdansk till winter. The Polish Navy took advantage of the significantly reduced forces. They ventured out to attack the Swedish ships. After a fierce fighting, the ship saw that it was in danger of being overpowered. To avoid capture, Master set fire to the powder magazine. Sulem exploded, disappearing into the depths.